Welcome to yet another Power BI video. This video is about a new preview feature introduced in the August 2024 update of Power BI Desktop, which is called Visual Level Format Strings. Let's understand more about this from the Microsoft August 2024 Feature Summary. On your screens is Power BI August 2024 Feature Summary. As we scroll down, we can see a link to download the latest Power BI Desktop. Scroll down further, in the reporting section, we can see more details about visual level formatting strings, which is at the moment a preview feature. Visual level format strings provide more options to configure formatting. It was originally built for visual calculations. Now, visual level format strings can be used in data labels of all types of visuals, including specific parts of new card and new slicer visuals. So, visual level format strings can be used even without using visual calculations. And with the introduction of visual level format strings, Power BI now has three levels of format strings. The model level, wherein in the model, you can set the formatting of each column or measure which can be used in any visual. Visual level formatting string is the latest introduction. You can set format strings on any column, measure or visual calculation that is on your visual even if they already had a format string. The model level format string will be overridden by the visual level format string. The third is the element level formatting. You can set a format string for data labels and for specific elements of new card and new slicer visuals. These levels are hierarchical with the model level being the lowest level and the element level the highest. A format string defined on a column, measure or visual calculation on a higher level would override what was defined on a lower level. Let's do a demo of all the three types of formatting in Power BI Desktop. On your screens is the Power BI Desktop. Let's create a semantic model using sample data. For that, let's click on this button, which is Use Sample Data. Click on Load Sample Data. Select the Financial Stable. Click on Load. So we have the Financial Stable in the Data pane. Let's expand this. You can see several columns. In order to demonstrate the model level formatting, let's select the sales column. In the ribbon, the data type is shown as decimal number. The format is shown as general. We can change it to decimal number by clicking on the drop down and selecting decimal number. We can have a thousand separator by clicking on comma. We can do the same for COGS profit. So let's select COGS, change the format to decimal number and select the thousand separator. Select profit, expand the drop down, select decimal number, select comma separator, select unit sold. Unit sold is usually whole number. So select whole number. We can have a thousand separator as well. This is the model level formatting. So let's see what happens when we create a table visual using the model level formatting. In order to create a table visual in the build pane, you can see the table visual here. Click on this button. Let's resize this. Let's add country, sales, profit and units sold. Remove the sum of from these three columns. So double click on sales remove sum of, double click on profit, remove sum of, double click on sum of units sold and remove sum of. We can collapse this dialog box. Let's format this a little bit. The table visual has been formatted under the sales, profit and units sold. The formats that have been used in the model are getting reflected in the table visual. Now let's create a clustered bar chart. For that, click on the clustered bar chart button in the build pane. We are going to depict the sales and profit for each country. So in the Y axis, let's select country. In the X axis, let's select sales and profit. Double click on sum of sales, delete sum of, press enter. Double click on sum of profit and delete sum of, press enter. At the moment, we don't see data labels for the bars. To display data labels, let's click on this format button. Data labels is not checked. So let's check this box. We can see the data labels in millions. Let's click on more options. You can see the format pane wherein we can format individual elements of this chart. Let's scroll down. Data labels is on. Let's expand data labels. Scroll down. Under the values, 
you can see display units is auto so power bi has automatically decided on the display units in terms of millions we are going to change the display label for sales in terms of billions and the display labels for profit in terms of thousands in order to change these display labels we have to use the newly introduced visual level format string to access the visual level format string click on the properties button in the format pane expand the first option data format and here we can select the column on which the format string needs to be applied so let's expand the drop down and select sales at the moment the format is auto and we want to display the sales in billions in the data label in order to do that let's go back to visual go to the data labels change the display units from auto to none then only will the new format string work so let's expand the drop down and select none at the moment what we see is the model level formatting let's go back to properties in the data format we've already selected sales to apply settings to if we convert this number to billions the value will be 0.0 024 in order to format in billions type the format hash first comma this means we need a thousand separator as we are going to have the final number in decimals let's type a zero this zero represents the leading zero so if we want the number to be displayed as 0.02 we have to type a zero here to display the number in thousands we normally type one comma display the number in millions we type one more comma so you can see 25 million 25 million 24 million etc and to display the number in billions we have to type one more comma type a dot for the decimal let's have three decimal places so type zero 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 for three decimal places type a b to represent billion so you can see that in the visual the data label for sales has changed to billion with three decimal places in case you want four decimal places you can add one more zero here when we hover the mouse over the sales bar you can see the tooltip in billions let's apply format to the profit column we are going to format profit as thousands type a hash comma this is for the comma separator profit is definitely going to be more than one so let's type hash to format the number in thousands let's type a single comma then type a dot we don't want any decimals so after dot we type k to indicate that the number displayed is in thousands typing this dot is very important without the dot the number will not be displayed correctly so the first hash comma is for the thousand separator the second hash is for the number as the number is greater than 0 we type a hash then to convert it to thousands we type one comma then for the decimal we have to type a dot and then type a k so you can see the profit displayed in thousands if we hover the mouse over the profit bar you can see the tooltip showing the profit in thousands this is how we apply visual level formatting on different columns and the data labels and the tooltips will be displayed according to the visual level format string now let's look at an element level formatting which is applied on the new card visual it's collapse format in the ribbon let's expand the drop down and scroll down this is the new card visual so let's select the new card visual resize this in the new card visual we are going to depict sales cost of goods sold and units in stock let's select sales cogs that is cost of goods sold and scroll down and select units sold now the card visual shows data in three columns instead we want to see the data in a single column and for that let's click on the format button click on more options let's close this in the format pane let's expand cards let's change the shape of the cards to rounded rectangle close this expand the layout at the moment 
the arrangement is a single row. Let's expand this and make it a single column. Close the format pane. Let's select the card visual and resize this. Let's change the headers to sales, COGS and units sold. Click on this button. Double click on sum of sales. Delete sum of. Press enter. Double click on sum of COGS. Delete sum of. Press enter. Double click on sum of units sold. Remove sum of. Press enter. Close this. Let's go back to the format pane. Click on this button. Click on more options in the format pane. Let's expand call out values. Apply settings to. At the moment it is series all. Let's expand the drop down. Click on sales. Scroll down. The display units is auto. As you may recall, in order to apply visual format strings at the element level, we have to change the display units to none. So let's expand this and select none. Similarly, let's select COGS from the series, change the display units to none and do the same for units sold. Display units change to none. We see the display at the model level formatting. We are going to change the sales to billions as we did earlier, COGS to millions and units sold to thousands. So let's go to the properties tab, expand data format, apply settings to sales. In the format option, you may recall that we start with a hash, comma. As we will have only decimal numbers, let's type zero. Type one comma for thousands, two commas for millions, three commas for billions. Type a dot for the decimal. Let's have four decimal places. Type a B to display billion. So in the sales label, you can see the number in billions. In addition to that, if you want to display dollars, you can type the currency as the leftmost symbol. Press it. Let's select COGS. We are going to display in millions of dollars. Select format for the thousand separator. Let's type a hash comma to display the number in thousands. Type a hash. Type one comma for thousands, two comma for millions. Type a dot. Let's say we want two decimal places to be displayed. Type two zeros. M for million. Let's add a dollar sign to the left and we can see the number in millions. Now let's format the units sold in thousands. Units sold. Click on format. Type a hash, comma. Another hash again. For thousands, we type just one comma. And you may recall that though we don't want decimals, we have to type a dot for the decimal point and type K to indicate thousands. Press enter. Let's verify whether these numbers are correct. So the total sales is 118,726,350. 118 million is 0 0.1187 billion. To the table visual, let's add COGS as well to check whether the numbers are correct. So select the table visual, click on COGS, double click on sum of, delete sum of, press enter. Let's expand the table visual. COGS is 101,832,648, so 101.83 million is correct. For the units sold, the total number of units sold is 1,128,806, which is rounded off to 1,126. Okay. As you may recall, the most important thing that you have to remember before doing the visual level formatting or element level formatting is change the default display units of the values to none. So in the table visual, we've displayed the model level format. In the bar chart, we've displayed visual level format. And in the new card visual, we've displayed the element level formatting. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content, including 50 exclusive videos on Power BI PL300 certification exam prep. Please subscribe to our channel and while subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall receive notifications as soon as we upload new videos in our channel. We are very grateful to our subscribers, members and viewers for their continued support. See you again with yet another video. Have a nice day.